Hello, thank you for tuning in again in my next video. As you can see right now, I'm on my, the train on my way to school. And well, this video, it will have a lot of similar footage, um, you know, with the previous one, only better quality. Like I got a new camera, less shaky footage. It was very windy outside. So I will actually just show you my spot again, show, me, show you the works I made. And well, explain them a little bit because I do think that I have a lot to say about my art that I made for my final. My final is in June. Then my teachers, my I have three painting teachers. They will come over, and well, you know, spill the beans, say what they think, and see if I can finish the year or not. I hope I can. I do believe for myself that I have enough work done. I am finished rather early. My teacher wasn't really pleased when I told them that I basically had finished, but I want to focus on other school projects and exams, such, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, I just want to say we got a new building as of last year. It opened and I think it's a very nice building. It's really pretty. It's just a really cool spot to work at. Like, it's, I'm very honored we can get to work in a new place. It's if we're gonna grow student-wise, it's gonna be like too small, but as of right now, I have a good spot, I like my workplace, so yeah. So here I give you another overview of everything, but again, in better quality. So my main studio is painting, but I really like to dip my toe into sculpture. I love sculpture, I love 3D works. Here we see a model of a sculpture that is standing behind there. It's called Word Puke. And what I mean with that is basically it's... You have these three faces in a public toilet that puke advice on you. Um, underneath the model is my sketchbook, which contains a lot of sketches for, you know, word puke and the other paintings you see hanging there. Here's a big version. The, so the closet is actually a wooden construction that someone I knew made and, well, I hadn't made it. And I love it. It's so pretty. I painted the black. It was like this very light brown wood. I glued a Barbie toilet. I'm not kidding. I glued a Barbie toilet into it in the middle. Um, I thought it would be very comedic to have this small toilet in there. My teacher said that I should glue, I should actually attach a bigger toilet seat in there, but then I was like, well, then you won't be able to read the text anymore and you still gotta read the text, otherwise it's not like advice that these ladies are puking. Um, so yeah, the faces are just painted on canvas, which I stapled into or onto the closet, which you saw in my previous video. I painted the back from the canvas as black so that it would be more uniform and then I put some uh, what do you call it fabric like from an old pants on top of it so that it just looked a bit more finished and you wouldn't see the unevenness of the gluing and attaching from the canvases themselves then moving on so the three smaller canvases you see are filled with small draw well smaller paintings that I wanted to use as patches so basically these are all my own designs so that you can or well, later on I will probably give them to friends or something and then they can put them on their clothes hopefully on their back or something just sew them on I think it's really cute I love it I want to work a lot around you know pop art and consumerism I kind of like the idea of reproduction of your art that you can like make it into stickers and yeah that's what I've been working around and I like the cartoony colorful look of it then we had this big bear pillow, then we have my series of paintings which are, you know, supposed to be filled with humor. So you have these images and then the word is supposed to be a joke or like an obvious statement. And yeah, so color is popping out. I really love color, love to work with color. I love the big contrast and, you know, just the playfulness of it. So yeah, it's a period drama. <laughs> Not everyone gets my jokes, like I have very dry humor, but... Well, I must amuse myself, so that's something. And then, oh yeah, we have the battle vest, which is so bombastic. I love it. So the stand with like the big eyeball is metal construction, and but actually the jacket itself is the artwork to me. So the back piece I painted on it is the 
is the actual artwork but I needed to have a stand or I wanted to have a stand so that you could walk around in jacket because like a jacket is not something you can like hang on the wall that would look pretty weird to me so another close-up of all the pins on there so funny And then we're slowly moving on through the other part of my studio space where I have a Mother Mary painting. I just sort of no one calls me sexy because she's like this eternal virgin. It's also a joke. Then we have again a period drama with Bloody Cute, an airplane clash with fireworks, um, and then a very big collage. It's actually a collection of faces. Um, of myself, there are a lot of self-portraits, also just portraits of friends, but they're based very loosely on the original and then just random Instagram pictures of famous people that I follow or something and I just needed to have like a guideline, like it's not supposed to be realistic but it's about looking at art and art looking back at you. I really wanted to have this impressive, you know, a lot of pair of eyes staring at you that you would be like a little bit uncomfortable. The collage it's like one piece I glued it all together it's three by four meters it's quite big um, but I like it it's you know it's not about having pretty portraitures it's just more about you know the amount and some of them are very impressed I mean or uh, look quite impressive to me and yeah when you just stand next to it you feel very small so that was my goal yay And then before we go, because that was all I wanted to show really, I wanted to give another video, a little update of everything, now that I have a better camera. And well, this is just a quick view of the other students of my classmates at workspaces when, you know, what they're busy with, also very impressive. And now you get to see it a bit in better quality as well, so it will complement their work automatically. And we're back at the washing rooms. Woo, so interesting. Um, no, I wanted to show again the painting space we have. This is first and second year of painting. So here we have figure painting. So, you know, painting from a model, a real life model. that there is Fiamma and the big painting I showed previously and then this big blue one next to her is what she made with another student Nick and she is a very talented I really love her work um, yeah that's her workspace and yeah she's also here at school most of the time anyways that was pretty much everything I wanted you to update on um, I feel quite accomplished for the year and um, well, here is me taking the train back home. And thank you so, so much again for watching. If anyone sees this, I kind of hope anyone will. Or someone will, I mean. And yeah, enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.